All right, here we go. Question number seven from our 1316 homework number seven. In my lab math, the rectangular coordinates of a point are given. Find the polar coordinates of this point. Notice it says that R needs to be greater than zero, which means R needs to be positive. And theta can be any angle from negative 2 pi to 2 pi. All right, first things first, rectangular coordinates are given. That means that we're given an X and a Y. We want to convert that into polar coordinates, which means we're looking for R and theta. So the formula to calculate the radius is the square root of X squared plus Y squared. Plugging into that formula, is going to give us negative 10 squared plus 10 squared, which is 100 plus 100, which is 200. And that will simplify to 10 square root of 2. And it does say exact, yes, type exact answers. So we don't want to uh, approximate that as a decimal. We want to leave that exact. There's the radius. Now, for the angle, uh, I need to make one thing clear, and that is if your x is negative, you're going to have to add 180 to theta. So whatever we calculate the angle to be, if x is negative, you have to add 180, which is equivalent to pi in radians, to your angle to make it correct. And I'll try to illustrate why that is, okay? So the formula to calculate theta, that is the inverse tangent of y over x, which is going to be the inverse tangent of 10 over negative 10, which will simplify to the inverse tangent of negative 1. And then we know that the inverse tangent of negative 1 is negative pi over 4. And the reason we know that, first of all, from the unit circle and the restriction on the inverse tangent, the other reason is from the calculator. We can do inverse tangent of negative 1. And that's going to give us negative 1 fourth pi, which is the same as negative pi over 4. Okay, now that's my angle theta that the calculator gives. Now let me see if I can explain why we have to add 180 to theta. So let's uh, just remember that this is our theta at the moment, and our radius is positive. So if we go to the unit circle, we know that negative pi over 4 goes in the fourth quadrant, and if the radius is positive, then you're going to go in that direction a distance of 10 square root of 2, whatever that is, okay? So do you see that that puts our ordered pair in quadrant 4? But if you plot the original point, the negative 10 comma 10, as an x and a y, that's going to go negative 10 and 10. That point would be in the second quadrant. So uh, in order for your ordered pair to be correct, both points have to plot in the same spot. And you can see that the polar point does not plot in the same spot as the rectangular point. And in fact, if you notice this, can you see that these ordered pairs are 180 degrees out of phase? So that is the reason that you have to add 180 to theta if your x is negative. It's so that it will put it around into the correct quadrant. And I think that has to do with the calculator giving the angle uh, for inverse tangent in its uh, restricted range of values, remember inverse tangent is restricted, 
from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And since the original ordered pair in rectangular form falls outside of that range, that's what causes us to have to add 180 to theta. So since our angle is in radians, remember I said that pi is equivalent to 180. And so our actual angle, the correct radian angle, would be 3 pi over 4. And again, if we go back to the unit circle, you can see that that is the angle that we need to be at, 3 pi over 4. Okay, so now we can write the ordered pair as r comma theta. That would be the radius, which is uh, 10 square root of 2, and the angle 3 pi over 4. That is one correct answer. And it does meet the criteria that the radius is positive and the angle is within the range requested. So we do need to use the ordered pair tool and input this correctly. That is 10 square root of 2. And as a fraction, that's going to be 3 pi over 4. Does that ever happen to you too? It, it didn't put it in the blue box. Silly thing. There you go. It's so picky. And we're done. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.